So here I have a GPS for a tractor. Um, it's a CFX750 uh, and some of the buttons aren't working. So here's the field. Let's go. So, so the bottom one. Having a hard time. Touch at the center of the X. So the first thing is to remove the the uh, screws. around the outside of the bezel and on the outside they're all the same length except on the two the, the two side screws okay so you'll need to have it's like I believe it's a hex hex screws or torch screws I'm not too sure the name but they are about that long So you don't have to really too worry about the order because they're all the same length except for the two side ones. I'll show you how to take off the side guard as well. To remove the side, the side pieces, the little plastic pieces, you can just pry up and they kind of just clipped on. I'm just using an ice cube tray to hold that. So remove those. And then when you take it apart, just double check what side has a cable. So my cable is on this side. I, I just looked in there. And then you just want to tilt it out so the cable's not stretching like that. And you want to remove this cable here. You can use your and then just be very gentle and pull that out. So that's that. This is the screen back. And then we're we're going to be replacing this touch screen. So you have to remove all these uh, hex screws as well. And they're all the same size. And you want to remove this ribbon cable too. Just push it out like that the front case will be able to come off. Just pull up gently. And that, you have this, the, the front um, off. This is the front bezel, just um, put that away. What I did to remove the screen is on the side, I used some isopropyl alcohol, which is good for getting rid of glue and can run just on the glue. Okay, so I'm just using a Q tip, getting it a little um, with the alcohol. And then just going around the outside of the screen. <coughs> you can see I have the razor blade in there. This slowly. You don't want to go in too much. There we go. So, and then I think 
got that off. So when you're installing the screen, um, the front bezel is down. The connection will be on the left hand side. And when you put it in, just make sure that uh, this screen was a little bit, the old screen was a, a little bit bigger. So I had to file down um, some of the metal on the sides right here. And when you put the screen in, you're just going to flip it over. And you don't want to see any of that white line. See the white line right there. Um, so you're going to just move it over until the white lines on both sides are gone. So you see, you can see the light white line. And that white line is basically the resistive material that's used for sensing. So you're going to adjust it back here, move it left and right. Um, Taking off that. When you're putting the screen in, it has this mic. The mic will go in that hole. And you just want to put them snug. You don't want to put them hard, just enough to put a little bit of pressure on the screen. So, all the screws are on. The next thing is to connect the main bezel. Then you're just going to put the, the screws in and on. We're just going to do the calibration. So let's Go in settings, system, recalibrate touch screen, and you're going to be touching all these little X's on the screen. So, yeah, the buttons are working wonderful. Just gonna turn off. Hold the power button for three seconds. And that's it. Again, uh, if you have more, you can go to nuisanceelectronics.com and scroll on over and check out my repair blog. Okay? Talk to you next time.